Hello! This is the third episode of Video Game Ventures with Mal! And we are doing... Goddess! Beta 1.3.1! Now... This game is your standard god game with a twist. Now, since it's beta, they're promising a lot more content what, than what we currently have on hand. Uh, basically, all you do in this game is build... Well, you pretty much terraform the land, and what happens is they, the people, if you give them enough room, the settlers will create their own bases, as you can see right there. And you get these cards uh, as the game progresses, and these cards are what will tell you, uh, you they'll follow your progression. Every card has something to do with progression. Uh, and eventually you'll age up into the Bronze Age, uh, all that crap. However, as in beta, they don't have much, and it takes quite some time to actually get to these high ages. So, if you decide to play this game, it is... It honestly plays a lot like Clash of Clans. More than more than it should is a god game. Which kind of irritates me a little bit, to be honest. But, you know, what are you going to do? Yeah, see, here's all the ages that you're going to go through in the game. Bronze Age, Iron, Philo Philosophical, Imperial, Middle, Discovery, Industrial, Scientific, Atomic, Information, Space. Uh, when I played the game... It's, it took me, it's taken me forever, and I still haven't gotten to the Bronze Age yet, and it was about 13 hours of game time, so I'm kind of excited for the depth of the game, I'm thinking that it's going to take quite some time to actually age up, uh, and I'm hoping that's the case, but one thing I don't like is how much it plays like Clash of Clans. Now, the whole purpose of this isn't necessarily to give my review, but since I played the game before... I feel like I need to give a little bit of a spin on it because I'm sort of aware of what's going on. But let's continue here. Let's get out of here. All right. So as you can see, there's this little platform or uh, pattern. What is it? It's schematic that comes up, and it, they'll generate a house out of it. And as they generate these houses, you'll eventually be able to get the terrain around it. And you click this card here. Land expansion. These are the most one of the most important things you're gonna get because these cards will determine how far out you can build. We'll add the card to the collection, and you'll see over here in the top left corner is your population li limit. We have a maximum of six people here. Uh, it doesn't really matter uh, how many you or, or have, but you know. You can generate more as the game goes on, is what I'm saying. A lot more. And, like I was saying, another issue with the game is there isn't that much going on. Most of this game, as you're going to find out, is simply you terraforming the land and breaking down trees and whatnot in order to create room for them, the settlers, to construct bases. I found myself still, despite the negative feedback this beta has gotten, uh, I find myself still very enthralled in the experience. I think it's just very addicting for some reason. The terraforming concept is really nice. I really like doing that. I like how they build their own bases. A couple things I would like to see is definitely more interaction and more lively um, bases here. And that number you're seeing there, the seconds countdown, is simply a determination of when you can release people. One thing I do not like about this version 1.3 in comparison to the previous beta versions is that the, you cannot release people unless there's a base that needs to be constructed in the general area. So old outposts are pretty much useless. Totems are very uh, situational. Um, I'll get into that in a little bit. But, you know, that's another thing. Down on the top, or bottom left corner, rather, is, uh, what is this called? Um, 
the name eludes me right now but this meter right here will determine if you can perform any godly actions over here if you click the sidebar here is all the stuff you can do in exchange for this whatever it is i don't remember the name i'm sure it'll come to me in this video yeah here we go we have another card because we reached population so now we can reach a much wider area of land here so let's cut down this terraform this land right now get rid of this these trees well now let's make it nice and flat yeah look at that all these houses we're gonna be able to make release the people uh, you will unlock a lot of new godly things you can do as the game progresses one of them being double tiered uh, cliff sculpting here so it's not gonna be as irritating for you to you know you don't have to manually do each individual layer in the game so right here let's see one two three four all these base all these houses that are going up oh yes you'll find many many cards which require certain items and most of these items you're gonna find from chests that are buried beneath the terrain so once you collect all the requirements for these then you will upgrade something whether it's your base you know like right there's a chest i just opened and there's the felt resource card that i have for these new level of tents and it'll tell you right here uh oh belief that's what that's called by the way and stuff the red stuff um as you'll see there is information on what these tents do what the item or sorry what these structures do their benefits in relation to the previous one it gives a little description on them when they were used in real time so interesting if you want to learn a little bit of history while you play I guess and it tells you the attributes of them so keep upgrading your structures I don't really want this guy building up here so let's not let him build up here take out this land and yes, many, many, many hours of the game that you play will be just doing this, repeatedly. So, if you're not into this kind of thing, then you might not like this game that much. Um, it can get very repetitive, in all honesty. Um, they are at about 41% of, supposedly, 41% of their content that they promised to deliver with this game, so... If we're lucky, as consumers, they will deliver on this game. Uh, the previous version, or this ver version rather, has gotten some improvements over the last one where you don't have to click so much because this game is a click hog. should definitely be created more for uh, a touch screen concept, but that's another issue in general. Keep terraforming this damn land here. Cut it out. Look at how slow this is. We need to stuff as many of these uh, tents in as we can for this region. Get all the resources we need to upgrade. And continue to do this for your entire game experience. Um, I will probably be doing more videos on this game. Because there is a lot to it, even though it's still in beta. Uh, there's still a fair amount of content that I feel deserves to be covered. Um, you know, I, I understand that Video Game Ventures is something I created just to sort of get you into the game a little bit. But this game, I feel there is enough content to do... Um, some decent videos on I mean you really can't make the game that interesting to watch because it is literally just terraforming land for like 10 hours but if you can get past that it's kind of fun 
Especially if you're really into the terraforming thing. Um, making land can be a pain in the ass. But we just keep generating people and your belief goes up. And eventually, you'll unlock ways to move your buildings, kill people, set trees on fire, watch your people scream, stuff like that. And they'll come out of these houses once you click on them. And you can collect, after you get away from the initial sediment, you can collect um, belief from them. From uh, individual houses, and you're gonna get a very familiar piece of music, hopefully. Classical piece, of course. Um, if it's not familiar to you, then that's unfortunate, but if we can get to it in this video, then we will. I'm trying to go as quickly as I can to get through this because it's literally the same thing. Um, I understand I can just do cut the video and get to the chase, but I, that's not my intention here. My intention is more to actually show you the playing through the game as you would if you were, if you bought it, you know? So, that's pretty much my idea here. Um, you can see ex uh, chests under the ground through these, looks like papers coming out of it. And I never noticed that before, because I would always just come across the chest without understanding how they appear. But knowing that is definitely going to help you pick up where these chests are, because the chests are very important for finding loot. Okay. Of course. You hear that heartbeat sound? That heartbeat sound is the sign you're getting close to your land expansions. See what we got. Nothing useful yet. But now we can expand across. Okay, we gotta. No, we do not want a base there yet. There we go. Construction. You've inspired your followers to build permanent abodes. Yes, they'll generate faith. Or belief. Jesus, sorry. And that's a cool part of the game. If your mouse if your fucking mouse can handle it. Uh, excuse my language, but seriously. This game will, e will just eradicate your mouse. So be prepared for that. Let's go over here. If we link this base, we link the base. Let's see where I oh, link it, link it, it, link in this bad boy. There we go. It's linked. Now we can expand the terrain in the slowest way possible. And not much is going on, but well. With Goddess 1.2, there was a lot more going on than now. Because if you don't have structures that need to be built near where you're at, it, it, you know, you, they just idle. There's no real purpose for it. Um, they need to definitely do something about that and give a much more in-depth experience. Like I said, it's only 40% done, they claim. So, it can be manageable. Uh, we can expect a lot more content to be delivered to us. Yes, and you'll basically go through the entire game doing this for a while, but there are battles and all sorts of other things you can do that I'll get into in the next video. And that next video that I'll do, um, I don't know if it'll be soon or not, but it will be a skip ahead. It won't be straight from where I started here because this was for the purpose of something else. Uh, just to get you in, in, into the game a little bit. Uh, but I think I'm going to cut the video there for now. Uh, and hopefully you'll explore more of it on your own time because it is a game that you might want to might want to go ahead and play. 
It is not really as bad as a lot of people make it out to be, if you read reviews. It is definitely a fun game. Um, try it out. And I'll do more videos if you guys want to watch them on this game, so stay tuned for that at least. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. This was Mal with his personal video game ventures. This was part three, I believe. Mal signing out.